Anusha and welcome to another podcast by Insight Website Design. Today I'm going to show you how to automatically generate a post or a page slug in WordPress. Now if you're doing a lot of uh, custom programming in WordPress and you are trying to display or you're trying to output your uh, slug for your post or page, this is exactly what you're looking for. Now here's the code we're going to use to uh, you know make that function happen. Uh, now I did not write this code. I found this online somewhere, and um, um, whoever wrote this code, thank you. I believe you should you should uh, uh, you should give the credit where it's due. So there you go. Anyway, uh, basically what we're going to do, we're just going to cut and paste this code and. Uh, Put that into our functions PHP file inside your um, custom theme. So first of all, you need to find your uh, functions.php file, uh, whatever uh, theme you're working on, and we're just gonna do a. In this case, I'm gonna copy and paste it. Go to your functions file, do a paste, and go ahead and save the file and re-upload it to your web server. So you have the you know custom function in your PHP file now uh, let's go back to my uh, first file here um, now in your uh, template tag this is the uh, the function you're going to use this is the PHP function you're going to use to uh, display the slug so it says echo it says display the slug for the post or page and let me let me show you a quick example um, where I use this on my site. Um, let's go to my web browser here. Where is it? Yeah, there you go. I uh, see this right here. This is my uh, this is my post image. For every post or page I uh, publish, there's an image in the header field of my page. So this right here. Now I know you can do this with a uh, custom fields in WordPress but I'm just too lazy to even you know just type the image name so anyway <laughs> so the way I do is I um, I save this image I actually first of all I create the create the post and as you can see here this is my uh, post slug for this particular post and uh, then I go to uh, Photoshop create my image and save the image and give the name exactly what I have in my post slug, so which is Photoshop Actions, uh, Photoshop uh, Dash Actions. So when I save this in um, in uh, Photoshop, I just give it Photoshop Dash Actions and dot JPG because it's a, a JPEG file. And then what I do, I go to my um, my uh, header template in WordPress and right here it says uh, first of all it's getting my template URL and it's going to my images directory and uh, where it's uh, that's where I uh, have my some of my post images or page images and then it's generating my slug for that uh, that particular post right here, and it's combining that slug with dot jpg for my jpeg. So that's a that's a pretty uh, simple example. So once again, what it does, it just automatically you know generate this image right here. So this is not limited to images this can be used with any function you're doing any custom programming you do you can use that so I'm just giving you I'm just showing you a quick example of how I use the slug function so there you go it's a quick tutorial today and uh, oh by the way you don't worry about it I am um, below the the video you're gonna find a direct link to a text version of this podcast so you can you don't need to actually type the code. You can just, you know, go to the text version. You can cut and paste the code, and you know, go from there on. Because I know I, I'm lazy myself, and I know 
most of you are out there, you don't want to type this stuff, so you can just cut and paste the code to your functions file and you can go from there on. But anyway, uh, that's about it for today. Uh, I hope I'm going to see you on another podcast. Mm-hmm.